Hey guys, Stephen here at St. Stephen and St. Joe's. So today I'm gonna to talk about the parish of St. Joseph's, the one that was built in 1916. Now I'm kind of new here, so if I forget something or get something wrong, just leave a comment and I love to learn more about it, but I'm gonna do my best. So this church is actually in the Romanesque style, which was very common for Germans to build. Um, the principal feature is that it kind of looks like a cross. So if you look, to cross. Churches um, are supposed to be images of heaven and they're supposed to help us uh, enter into what's actually going on at the mass. And that's why we have the imageries of, of the cross, the sacred music that sounds heavenly, all the saints that surround the altar and this building. You build an old building and it says, look at us. You have something that goes back that ties us to fundamentally to the apostles. So something I learned from uh, you guys at the parish is that this window and all these windows, they have a lot of uh, lilies in them. And lily is the uh, symbol of St. Joseph. He's usually depicted holding a lily in his hand, and that symbolizes his purity and chastity. So right behind me is a statue of St. Anthony of Padua. His nickname is the Hammer of the Heretics. About 800 years ago, this guy was on fire for Christ. He almost always is depicted uh, holding a child Jesus. Jesus himself was said to have come out of the scriptures uh, in the hearts of the people who heard his preaching. Over here we have Saint Anne, who is the mother of Mary, and then Mary is uh, right below her. And of course, here's Mary. She's also usually standing on a snake, the serpent crushing the head, uh, calling back to uh, the promise in Genesis to Eve's offspring. Father Schulte actually made um, most of this uh, most of these things here. We have a canopy or a tester, sometimes called a bolichino. Holy things are veiled, and that's why uh, the, the wooden structure is above the altar. It really harkens back to, uh, in the scriptures, like in the tabernacle in the desert um, for the Israelites, because the Holy of Holies is set apart. So altars actually have what's called an altar stone. The remains, the relics of martyrs would be kept in the altar. This one also has uh, relics, but to be honest, I, I couldn't figure out who it is. Um, but if you guys do, uh, I'd love to learn and uh, just leave a comment. That scripture verse of Revelation is also preserved by the saints who sit below the altar. The other thing about the sanctuary, too, that's uh, very scriptural, beyond the veil of the tabernacle and in the temple itself is the Holy of Holies, a sanctuary lamp, and the table of offerings. And on that, uh, that altar, that table there, would have been a showbread, um, which is obviously a pr prefigurement of, of our Eucharist, right? Uh, the bread would be on there uh, as a presence before God himself in the Holy of Holies. The sacristy is where um, the sacred vessels are, are stored and where um, a lot of the things for preparation for the sacraments occur. Sacristies usually have a sacrarium, um, which is just a fancy word for um, this sink that goes directly all the way into the ground. After purifying the vessels uh, that contain uh, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, if there's any particles that are left and we need to dispose of them, um, then they would have to go down the sacrarium. So right here is the boat and thurible, sometimes also called the incenser. On February 2nd of every year, uh, that's Groundhog's Day for the rest of the world, but for us Catholics, it's the presentation of the Lord. Legend has it that if the thurifer on the presentation of the Lord cannot see his shadow through the smoke, then that means there's going to be six more weeks of winter. A way to tell the difference between a thurible and a thurifer, uh, whenever you hear the fur name, uh, that just means to carry. So like, for example, transfer means to carry something across or uh, a ferry carries boats. A thurifer carries a thurible. Here's the, uh, the sacristy racket. This is the aspergillum. Um, that comes from the Latin word uh, for sprinkler. Uh, missile comes from the, the Latin word for mass, misa. It means uh, to be sent out. The nature of the mass is worship, sure, but um, it's primarily also uh, evangelistic. You are sent out. Once you receive the body, um, that love should be overflowing uh, to others. These things in the liturgy in the church um, they're, they're designed to help us enter into what's going on at Mass, to help us go into God's life, to, to enter into it, to share in it. Heaven on earth, you know, that's the church. This is really a pretty church, guys, and I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm, I'm new, so if I uh, messed up anything or if um, there's anything you guys like to add, I'd love to see a comment. Um, but thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.